Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to this very special edition of the Main Event Talk right here on YouTube. It is Sunday morning, July 20th, and let's see. Uh, what is today? Let's see. It's Sunday. Um, I usually say this on Facebook every time I go on there. It's church time. It's recovery time. And in and, and church time, every time when you know Sunday rolls around, everybody, you know, you go to your Facebooks, you go to your Twitters, you see people going to church all the time. Here's the thing. I will tell you this straight up. The main event is not a church guy. And, and here's the thing. I know some people are going to be jumping on my case about this when, when they'll go ahead and start saying stuff like, well, <clears throat> you know, for a minute, it's a, it's a sin for you not to go to church. You should go to church. No, it's not going to happen. It's not a sin for the main event to go to church. Let me explain why. Because the fact is, how, why do people go to church in the first place? Why? I mean, let me kind of analyze this little thing just to start this whole morning. The thing is, I have nothing against church. I don't have anything against God. I don't have anything against anybody that goes to church at all. But the thing is, church is kind of like one of those things that make you, you know, it's one of those things that you don't really have to do, but they convince you to go anyway. You know how you go, here's the thing you probably have seen this many many times say you're at home right you're relaxing you're chilling out in every way possible and then somebody knocks at the fucking door right when when that person knocks at the door it's one of those people that come in with a bible hey are you are you saved by god and and, and all that other stuff and then they try to manipulate you and, and and here's the thing there's there's a difference between selling and manipulating and manipulating is a little bit like selling but you know you're manipulating this person trying to convince you to go to church and <laughs> I listen I pay attention I'm like yeah I've, I've been uh, 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 and then the conversation is over and then you go right back into the house and said god these people are stupid <laughs> and and you know like I said I got, I got nothing against church I got nothing against God in any way possible but I just feel that here's here are my reasons why people are going to church number one they may have done something bad in a previous life, you know, like as a kid or as a teenager, and you committed yourself to God. Number two, you have children. You have all these kids, and you want to set a good example for your children. And you want to go ahead and go to church and, and tell them what's good, what's bad, in every way possible. Now, I have been to church before as a little kid. But I hadn't gone to church since then. The only time I've ever been to church is if somebody got married or if someone had passed away. That's the only way I'll be able to go to church. Now, the thing I find funny is people that commit themselves to the Lord, commit themselves to God in every way possible. Here's the thing that I find funny. You're at a Best Buy store. You're going to go ahead and you're going to buy the latest issue of WWE DVD, right? You know, like say... um uh, say the uh, the new Ultimate Warrior DVD. Okay, let's put that for an example. You go ahead and you leave, and then you notice some guy walking by you or heading by you, giving you a flyer saying, "I have given up my ways. I have committed myself to the Lord." And blah blah blah. I want you to come to this deal. Do you respect it? Yes, you do. You take the flyer. Everything's cool. You don't have to go. Now, I, I like a guy that you know has. You know, cleaned himself from a lot of, you know, because you see this all the time. You know, you see people that, you know, that do drugs and, and, and then have, you know, done all sorts of horrible things. And then when they commit themselves to God, you know, then they go ahead and start preaching to the world. You know, and here's the thing. I don't I don't mind that. But sometimes it's really it's really irritating when you have to hear the same story and it's not always about the same person. It's usually something different or it's usually whatever case may be and it's you know like I said it's not like I don't want to go there it's just that I just want to go to my car and go home I will take the flyer I could throw it away but I will take the flyer and that's happened and, and it's like this <clears throat> you know I I respect people that you know trying to clean themselves and try to save other people from the same disasters that they've done before but you know, you got to be careful. Sometimes it could be a scam, and sometimes, you know, it could be legit, no problem. So the bottom line is, you'll never see the main event go to church, never. 
I believe in God. The main event does believe in God. But even the Lord, even God Almighty himself, doesn't want you to go to church. Oh, and I know some people are going to probably tell me something else. Oh, well, the Lord expects you to go to church. It is vital. It's mandatory. No, it's not mandatory. It is not mandatory at all. Because here's the thing. I'm one of these people. I'm Mexican, by the way. Just, <laughs> just to kind of get it out of the way. You... You love God. You respect the things he does. There are other people that hate God, that don't understand his beliefs and, under, and all the other nature. Me, I understand. I know. I believe in God. I love him in every way possible. But if you think for one second, even he knows that I am not going to church. There's no way in hell, sorry, that I'm going to church. Because, number one, I have not done anything bad. Okay, I haven't done anything bad. Number two, um, <clears throat> I have to have the motivation to go to church. I have to have some sort of a, a positive belief to go to church. And number three, you only go when you have to go, not when you're obligated to. That's how I see it. I go to church when someone has passed away or if someone's getting married or if something bad happened in a previous life. That's how it goes. That's my main event advice to all of you. If you want to go to church, that's your business. I'm not going to tell you not to go to church, but I will tell you exactly what I think of church in every way possible. So I suggest you go to church on Sunday. That is what you call manipulating, okay? See what I just did there? I told you not to go to church, but yet I go ahead and promote this video and tell everyone to go to church anyway. See? The art of manipulation. It is so intriguing, especially when it comes to religion. So, once again, all I can say is you'll never see me go to church unless I get married. You'll never see me go to church unless I pass away. And you'll never see me go to church unless I've done something horribly wrong, like throw a puppy off a bridge or kill a person with my own Mustang, or strap him down, <clears throat> strap a person down to the chair and make him watch bad movies. Horrifying, isn't it? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now that we got the whole religious thing out of the way, let's get right into what we need to talk about. This episode, uh, before I get to the <clears throat> fun part here, I just want to say thank you once again for anyone that saw the 71614 video uh, that wished me happy birthday on Facebook and on uh, Twitter. And I think I got two comments on the uh, on the video. Uh, I want to say once again thank you to all of my viewers and thank you to all the people uh, that wish me happy birthday. I had a chance to go out last night. I did. Um, went over to Bone Shakers, ran into um, my friend. Uh, Jaime Aguilar, he was a former bassist for um, the ever-famous Periwinkle Massacre. He was also in, um, uh, he's, in two, he's in two other bands, I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the other two bands were. Uh, there was a show that was taking place over at Bone Shakers. I didn't get a chance to see what the show was, but I was just there for only a few minutes, and then I went over to Theo's, hanged out at my own stomping grounds, you know, like I do all the time, ran into my boy Bruce, ran into Vinny Vibe, you know, he... he give me his prediction he thinks Roman Reigns is going to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship I'd love for it to be him but we all know the answer to that matchup and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment then I ran into a few others that saw the video as well that you know and you know agreed with everything that I had to say and um, you know I liked it it was cool went over to McCall's had, had myself a real good time over there oh man Saturday night was good it was badass although <clears throat> there was something in the beginning of the night that got my attention a little bit but let's just say you know I don't want to really say much about this part but let's just say I know I know and all I can tell you is you fucked up again but don't worry I'll be waiting that's all you have to know now This episode is brought to you by H-E-B Twist. <laughs> yeah, I had this can in my hand. You know how you go over to the store and you always buy Sprites and Cokes and that kind of stuff? When you go to H-E-B or when you go to Walmart, you buy anything that's a replica. And it's 
I can't say it's just as good as the original, but it's close to it as possible. So you do that, you know. So thank you for all the birthday wishes and you know, had a great time last night. Hopefully we'll do it again very, very soon. The main event plans on returning to Theo's Billiards, which by the way, anyone that, that knows about, uh, uh, I think what I posted on Facebook, or what I posted on Twitter, uh, August 1st, uh, Straight Line Stitch will be making their return back to Theo's and the main event. Cannot wait to check out that show. I think my friends Chat of the Giants will be playing that show as well. August 1st, on Friday, tickets went on sale. Check it out. And, of course, uh, the main event is looking forward to November 2nd. November 2nd was announced uh, last week that Judas Priest is coming to Concrete Street Amphitheater. And the main event cannot wait for that. The Priest is coming. The Metal Gods are on their way to Concrete Street once again. And I cannot wait for that show. It's going to be awesome to see Judas Priest. Often awesome to see Rob Halford on top of the stage and everything else that, like that in that particular nature. It's going to be cool. Happening November 2nd. Tickets went on sale this past Friday. Get your tickets while they're going on right now. And also besides that, WWE is coming to Corpus Christi on July 29th doing a SmackDown taping. So, you know, in other words, it's going to happen on a Tuesday. And that means it'll appear August 1st. So that... That kind of blends all in together, right? You know, Straight Line Stitch coming at Theo's on August 1st. And at the same time, WWE SmackDown taking place over at Corpus Christi will also be shown on SmackDown on Sci-Fi on August 1st. So the main event cannot wait for that. If you guys have not got your tickets for WWE SmackDown, I suggest you get them while they're still hot. So remember, it's uh, Tuesday, um, July 29th. Tickets will go on sale, and no doubt C101 will have a Tickets to Wrestle Thursday or something like that because they always give away tickets every chance they get on C101, so get a chance to get it while you can. WWE, the best value in entertainment. Now that we got all that crap out of the way, let's talk about two things. Let's talk about Battleground coming up tonight.